for sure. All right. My next thing, John, is Hoobs and Homebridge. So the idea behind these these tools. So Hoobs really is Homebridge. It's just a different graphic interface for it. And what Homebridge does is it connects your HomeKit network to your non HomeKit devices, of which I have lots. And so that's sort of the 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 point of this here. And it it works really well. I have this installed in the Docker container, and my next segment is on Docker. So watch that if you want to learn how Docker works. But um, but it's fairly straightforward. And the way that it works is you go and you uh, install plugins into your Hoobs setup here. So one of these, um, you know, I, you can see I've got my Arlo plugin and my Eve plugin and my I have a Foscam camera and I've got some Eufy stuff. Now, some of the Eufy stuff is already HomeKit. Some of it's not. I've got Ring, and it's telling me Ring has an update. That's one of the things I love about this Hoobs interface is it uh, takes care of all that. And you can add more plugins. Uh, I'm not going to show you the configuration for the ones that I have because every single one of them would uh, expose my password. Uh, but I should be able to add. Yeah, okay. So I could add like a like a Wemo plugin or something, right? If I had Wemo devices that weren't there and I would just click install. If I need to know details, it tells me, okay, look, this is a Hoobs certified Wemo plugin, which means that the Hoobs team, which is an open source team uh, at some level, has gone through and made sure that this like works not just with Homebridge, but with the interface here. And then you can come see all of my devices and, uh, and there they are. So um, here, you know, it's just showing you all the devices and sensors and everything that it has found. Uh, and if I want to, I could turn off the light right from here, right from the Hoobs interface. Now that's not how it's really meant to work. How it's meant to work is inside the home app and inside the home app is what we're used to on our iPhones and our, uh, you know, our various Apple devices. And if I can bring up the home app here, which I can, uh, you can see my home app. Now, one of my ring cameras isn't showing up here. I don't know why it doesn't show up in the ring rapid ring app all the time either. It will come up eventually, but you can see my driveway camera. That's a live view as I'm, as I'm talking to you here. Uh, in fact, if I could open this little window at the top of the uh, of the office there, you would see me sitting here talking. You can also see that in our garden camera, which is an Arlo camera. The Hector cam is a Foss cam camera, office basement and office garage. Those are Eufy cams. So those are home kit native. And then my pool camera is another Arlo cam. You can see my little pool that I was mentioning that uh, overflowed earlier this morning. Uh, but these are live views of my things. And then of course, all those, uh, various, you know, here's that couch corner lamp. I can turn that off if I want, I can turn it on if I want. And that's, uh, that's how, that's how home kit and hoobs works. It's, um, I I'm, I'm a huge fan of this because I don't have a lot of home kit devices. I've only got a few and yet the whole family can use their home app to get into the um, the, you know, the, all the devices, which is great. It's not, and it's nice to have all the cameras consolidated into one place. Like I said, I've, I've got cameras from f at least four different vendors. So yeah, that's hoops and, and homebridge. 